Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to solve the packet tracer activity 4.2.2.5 from the course Connecting Things from Cisco and this activity is about uh, building a connected factory solution. So let's see what are the tasks or the objectives. Here uh, first we are going to explore the connected factory. So we, we, here we have a factory connected to three different um, um, areas. So here we have the casting factory, here we have the warehouse, and here we have the uh, power station. Okay, so we are going to explore it, and then we are going to build a connected factory solution of personal importance to you. So you will see that I will also demonstrate how to add one of the appliance here and control it from the uh, casting factory. Okay, so let's jump forward to the scenario here in this activity you will explore the connected factory example you will then build your own model of a connected factory that incor incorporates an area of personal interest to you okay uh, so here we are going to explore the connected factory so let's go and explore the glassing company overview so here we are going to uh, click any uh, PC in the warehouse and then open the desktop and then we type warehouse and then we need to review the information and this is step one so let's do this we need to open any PC let's say this one here and then we go to the browser and we type web server and here we have the information about this company you see this is the web server it is there is no server here because the server is in another area but we managed to access this uh, like uh, the information from the server which is actually as I mentioned in the another area here we have the information you can read about the information about this company you can like get uh, what you need from the information after that you can close it and now you can see that there is also a smart factor here you will see here um, like the connected things here there is a gateway there there is a router and the router sorry there is a, a switch here and there is a router and the router is connected to the uh, internet okay so here you can see also there is a coffee machine and there is also uh, a door here there is another one here and so on so let's there is an old car here and there is in step two we need to run the classic car start the engine and we will see what will happen we know how to start the engine and as you can see here because of the um, smoke level in the factory and always the doors here are open okay so also the fan is working as well so however let's close this now um, we already um, saw such activity in the previous video in the smart home Okay, let's move forward to review the connected factory uh, network settings. Okay, so everything here is controlled in another area. So we were here, now we move to the area here and here you can see there or here are the servers. Here we have the servers that's controlling everything. Here we have also a laptop. Here we have uh, appliance as you can see here. Um, so this is a push button, this is a, a like a, a lamp, so we more or less know everything um, about there. So here everything is connected through wireless and then of course there will be should be a server. So let's check this server here, the first one. So this is a web server and what surface do we have here? We have here the information that about the pages that we can um, like access from here. All right. The second server here, as you can see, let's see the surfaces. We have IoT surfaces and here we have the username and password for the surfaces that we would like to access. However, so let's return back here, go to the surfaces, IoT. You can see this is server for web page. That's why it's web server for like um, HTTP uh, pages. But here, this one is a server for the IoT. Okay, so let's click on the factory uh, build to see its layout so find the FT, FIT laptop and open text editor 
inside the desktop tab and use file button to ib slash network.txt file and then review all the network information about the connect the connections okay let's do this let's go here this is the laptop that we have to access or we have to access fit laptop as recommended here and then let's go to the text editor and then let's open and this is the IP network and here we have information about this network and here we have the factory main wiring closet uh, here we have information as you can see there here we have all the information about the network okay so after reading this very well understanding where are the sensors everything there the location uh, the locations of the sensors so so on this is we close the file from here okay so what next we need to uh, like try to control the areas so as you can see here we have preparation area here is the closing company here is we have a store here we have a laboratory and we can see here also some stuff as you can see there here we have the assembly however so now what we need to go we need to access each area and try to check the sensors and appliance in each area okay so let's do this we go to the web page and then we need to type factory and now we need to for example to access the assembly let's assume the one is here or, or somewhere this one however so we need to access or to give this username and password one more time okay so we can see here we have the appliance we have a temperature sensor we have an assembly fan we check it here this is the assembly fan uh, here we have a temperature this is the area here that we are accessing now here we have uh, a, a start process here we have running uh, here we have a speed warning here we have um, like a uh, reply flex sensor here we have fire sprinkles here we have fun let's try to turn on the fun or let's try to read the temperature now it's minus one As you can see here, F assembly fan 2, this is assembly 1 1, this is here, so let's try to turn on this one. You can see now it's starting. Now turn it off and let's for example try to find this light running. As you can see here. Okay, so we have also um, a switch here which is called let's go there and you find here in the specification or attribute okay so here we have a temperature this is one and here we have also lead as you can see here this one is now on uh, RFID reader And here we have also process indicator however so there are this is a RFID reader okay okay so this was about the first one also you can now try to access the preparation also factory and then you type 
and then also another print let's sign in here we have the sensors okay and as you can see here we have also a power station and this information can be obtained from here when you go to the services iot you can see here the username and the password we can see also here we have a warehouse which is not written here this one this like uh, username and password for controlling the area here warehouse this power station for this power station all right and the assembly was the one inside the casting factory all right so now let's move return back here and now let's add an appliance here so let's go here and let's try to for example um, let's say that we need to add a light here because it's quite dark here and then we need to connect it we are going to connect this lamp to this switch directly so in this case since this is a switch so we are going to use so we are not going to connect to mcu or um, uh, control unit we are going to connect it to the switch so in this case we need to use uh, ethernet cable and let's assume that we are going to connect it to fast ethernet 6 here we need to add some information so we know here we need to put it DHCP to get the IP address automatically and let's say here this is the name of the appliance serial number as you can see here we will see it in the website and what else we need to give uh, a remote server so where to connect this one so to have the information let's get this information from here this is the IP address and this is the username and this is the password okay so when we connect refresh so now it's okay it's connected what we need now let's go back we need to remember the name of this light it is 2o slash or hyphen so let's go back and then we come here to the laptop now factory and then warehouse with another warehouse as a password and then let's try to log in and then we can see here this one what we added the light let's go back and now let's try to turn it on or off to control it you can see now it's on here it's on here is off so we added this here uh, and we controlled it from the this area here okay you can add more here you need to remember you have to make it DHCP and then you have to connect it to the server through the IP address username and password all right so that's all for this activity thank you and I will see you in the next video